So let's check. Now we put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector, as you can see. So let's check. Yeah, we get a reading. So this is also NPN transistor. Okay. Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test SMT transistors using the multimeter. So as you can see here, this is basically SMT transistors, as you can see, with three terminals. So an SMT transistor is exactly the same as a normal transistor. It has the base, collector and emitter. So of course, we're gonna use the multimeter to test it and we're gonna select the diode option, as you can see here. We're gonna use the diode option because the transistor contains two diodes inside it. So as you can see, this is emitter, base here, and collector. So if we check between base and emitter, as you can see, we get a reading here. So base collector, we get a reading. This is a gut transistor, okay? So if we swap the probes, we can get a high reading or no reading. Here we get a high reading because we swap the probes. Here also we will get a high reading. Okay? If you get a high reading or no reading means the transistor is good. So basically this transistor is PNP transistor because we get a reading when we put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter means the transistor is a p input transistor so let's check the second one so we get a reader about 150 okay and between base collector we get another reading about 200 okay so this is a good transistor this is also PNP transistor. If we swap the probes, we should not get anything in the multimeter or we should get a high reading. Okay? So let's check. As you can see, we get a high reading, more than 1000. It means also this transistor is a good transistor. So let's check the third one. We're gonna check many transistors, many SMT transistors in order to go deeper into understanding how to test it. So let's check this one. So we're gonna put the black probe of the multimeter in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter. We should get a reading. So let's check. Here we should get a reading, as you can see, always about 150 between base emitter and base collector we get 100 or 220 always the reading between base collector is greater than the reading between base emitter this is how we can distinguish between the collector and the emitter okay so if we swap the props the same thing we're gonna get more than 1000 drop voltage as you can see means the transistor also is a good transistor. So those transistors, as you can see, are good transistors. So I get many questions about what is the differences between testing an SMT transistors and THT transistors. So basically, I'm going to show you what is the difference. Basically, the working principle is the same, and the transistor testing is always the same. But now I'm going to show you how to test the THT transistor, or True Hole Technology transistor. So this is basically one of the THT transistors, always here in the middle, we have the base. This is the base for this kind of transistor. Here we have another transistor, as you can see with always three terminals, base, collector, and emitter. So I'm going to show you how to test this kind of transistors. Okay?
So of course we're gonna use the multimeter always and we're gonna select the diode option. You know why? Because the transistor simply contain diodes inside it. So here this is basically the terminals, the three terminals for the transistor that we're gonna test here. We have we have another transistor as we can see over here with three terminals. Here we have the base in the middle. Now we're gonna put the read probe in the base and check. So as you can see, we get a reading and also we get a reading here. Means this is a good transistor and this is NPN transistor, okay? Okay, when you put the read probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector and you get a reading means the transistor is NPN transistor. Let's check this transistor also over here. So let's put the black probe here in the base and the real probe once in emitter and once in collector. No reading. No reading. So so we should swap the probes. Let's swap the probes. Now we're gonna put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector. What do we have? We have a reading here in the multimeter about 700 or 800 voltage. Means this is NPN transistor. NPN transistor. Okay, this is basically a good transistor. I'm going to show you in this video. NPN transistors testing and PMP transistor testing. So these two transistors here are NPN transistors. Okay. So let's look for other transistors in this motherboard. Here we have three transistors. Okay. So let's test these three transistors also. Maybe we can find an PMP transistor. Okay, we have the first one here, three with three terminals. This is the base. This is the second one. Here we have the base. And over here we have another transistor. Maybe this one can be PMP transistor. So let's check it out. So let's check. Now we put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector, as you can see. So let's check. Yeah, we get a reading. So this is also NPN transistor. So this is NPN transistor. Okay, this is a serviceable NPN transistor. Okay, so let's check this one also. We're gonna put the read probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector. We should get a reading. We have here about 700 draw voltage in both sides, means also this is. NPN transistor. This is a good transistor, by the way. So let's check this transistor. We're gonna put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector. We didn't get anything in the multimeter. Here we get a high draw voltage. Maybe this is a PMP transistor. So let's swap the probes. So now we put the black probe in the middle, in the base. Yeah, we get a reading here in this side. So let's check the other side. We get a reading about 700 door voltage, means this is PMP transistor. Okay, so now we find the PMP transistor, as you can see.